welcome to the second part of this video in Siemens NX 8.5. As I told you before, I want to do some holes, but maybe first I do some camphers and some fillets. So let's check it out. There is a camphor. It's 2.5. On this edge and on that edge, okay, and some edge blends two millimeters, maybe on this one, that one, that one. And on that one and that one. Yep. Then add some more. One. Yes. Okay, and again, right here, yes, and this one as well, and okay. Now, some holes. This one is a countersunk and it's uh, 25, 15, that's okay. Depth is 30, that's okay. Depth that's okay. And the point should be by sketch on that plane. location move it right here and okay let's draw a line from this point to the center yes set it to reference then add that I mentioned here which should be 70 and an angle which should be 30. Finish the sketch. Yes, that's okay. And then I have to make a pattern with this whole pattern. It's a circular one. Circular and the point is this one. And change this to just 
moved, so I have to change this vector to, in this case, to this one. Yeah, and I want six, no, eight holes and yeah, that's it. I can try to mirror this one. Mirror feature. In case you have threads, you don't. You should not. You must not mirror the holes. But in this case, I don't have any threads, so it's okay. That's the plane, and okay. So I got C, one is missing, the original one is missing. So go to the mirror feature and add, in this case, the original hole. Okay. For the next sketch, I want to have a new datum plane, so I make one with a distance from this one. It should be one hundred, and okay. And then I want to make my sketch on that plane. It's an existing plane. Okay. As well, and the distance should be seven seven point five. And this distance should be seven five divided by two. And the sketch is full constraint. Now I need a point, close, and this point should be on that point coincident. OK, and finish the sketch. I hide this plane. OK, then I want some associative copies. This one and the point, of course, and mirror it on that plane. Apply and then. The sketch and that on this plane and OK. Yes. Now I want to do a simple hole, simple four diameter and maybe twenty. No. It's about, take a look, yeah, it's 20. And it's threaded. So I need 
need a threaded hole and it's not four diameter but let me check let's say it's m4 yes that should be 20 and thread depth should be 10 and the point is right here oh, it's a real small one maybe we make it a m6 and 10 apply then another one on the existing point apply turn it and this point and okay now let's do some patterns along paths so let's go to pattern feature the feature is the first threaded hole make it long select path that's the path. Make it count and pitch 12 arc length, and that's 100 divided by 12. And apply. Take the second hole, take the second path, apply. the third hole, select the path and apply take the last hole, select the path and OK Then I will hide the sketch and the geometry. Okay. Now for the last holes I need some points. So this would be a point which is in the center of this square. Yeah. Let's take a look. Let's make a point. So, what do we have? Between two points. That would be nice. First point would be this one. Second point would be that one. Okay. Yeah, I could do it again. This point and that point. Apply. Turn it. This point. That point, apply, and this point, and that point. Okay. Now I can do the holes. The 
this one would be a general one, normal to face, countersunk, until next, that's okay. And then we'll go for this point, that point, looks okay. Yes, and I'll try to add the other ones as well because they are the same. So I really need a new mouse. Okay, there is another point. Come on. What the heck? Okay, this point and this one. And okay. Yeah, looks nice. But something is not centered. You see? So I will have to check it out, what's wrong. I suppose it's this inner body which is wrong. Maybe I missed one constraint in the sketch. So it should be this one. And that's the responsible sketch, so maybe I hit it with row back. And yeah, I missed one constraint. The sketch needs one constraint. So it's not centered. That's the problem. So we'll add right here 1.105 divided by 2. Now it's fully constrained. Finish the sketch. It's updating. This takes a while and let's take a look after the update. It's done. Yeah, that looks nice. So thanks for your kind attention. Hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoyed as always the mistakes, the errors, the corrections. See you next time. Bye.